everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make a castanet. A castanet is a type of percussion instrument that is especially used by dancers. So after you get done making your craft, you can make some music and do some dancing. Make sure to take pictures and tag us at Yuma Library or use hashtag Yuma Library so we can see what you've made. Let's go! For this activity, you'll need cardboard, pennies or you can use bottle caps, glue, scissors, a ruler, and markers are optional. First, you'll cut your cardboard piece to about 4 inches by 8 inches. Next, you'll fold your cardboard in half hamburger style. Make sure not to crease the fold too much. You want it to still have a bit of a bounce to it. Now, if you'd like to customize the shape of your cardboard, trace a pattern for your outline and cut out the shape. The shape can be any object, like a cat's head or your favorite character. I'm going to use a picture of Bulbasaur instead of drawing one, so you can do whichever you prefer. While keeping the cardboard folded, you'll cut along the outline. However, if the cardboard is too thick to cut with your scissors, you can cut out the shape on one side first and then on the second side. Now use glue to attach about three to five bottle caps or pennies along the inner edge on one side of your shape. Wait for your pennies or bottle caps to dry on one side before you try attaching to the other side. Otherwise, they might slide around like they did with me. Before gluing the same amount of pennies to the other inner side, make sure that they correctly overlap. If the pennies don't align when you close your castanets, you won't get a nice clack sound. What I did was lay the pennies on top of the ones that were already glued and then put glue and then I closed it and flipped it over. That way they were aligned just right. Let your castanets dry, and then get ready to make some music. Check it out! If you'd like to learn more on this topic, check out the following books and ebooks. Remember to follow the Yuma Library on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter to stay updated on what's happening at the library. And subscribe to our YouTube channel to see more awesome library videos. Stay safe and don't stop reading!